The wheels of production have been rolling since 1953. It is a story of commitment and hard work towards a vision that has stood the test of time and that is to be the best and leading provider of Zambia's staple food, maize meal and flour. Antelope Wholesale Merchants Limited, trading as antelope milling, has been setting trends for over 65 years in the food manufacturing sector of the Zambian economy. The reason for the wholesale merchants is because my father, who incepted the company at the time, who founded it, used to have a small roller meat plant of a capacity of one ton per hour only, and he also used to sell wholesale goods, foodstuffs, canned foods, bicycles, all sorts of things. So that's why he was an wholesaler as well. He was not only a miller, but a wholesaler as well. That's why the name comes from that. So the vision of antelope milling is to become a leading industry in Zambia, to be able to uh, uh, give a high quality product to the consumer. And it's, on those points, it, it is achieved uh, to do all those goals. It is the first milling company in Zambia which has reached ISO 9001 status. It's the first and only so far. We have got a very high quality product. We have a consistent product. Of, in other words, our quality is consistently good. It's not like you, at once you get uh, very quality. We, and uh, people, have faith in our product. We develop faith in antelope products. Antelope milling has been established since 1953 by my father Emmanuel Calves, who made Zambia and in particular Luencha his home. His mission statement for antelope remains the same since 1953. This mission statement is respected by all directors which are now third generation all born in Zambia and only particular born in Luanja. They form a highly educated team, a dedicated team with a vast understanding of the Zambian culture and the Zambian economic climate. Located in the industrial area of Luanja, a mining town on the Kapapewa province of Zambia, antelope milling has grown from strength to strength and producing quality products to satisfy its market. Over the years, the tonnage has increased from one ton per day to over 340 metric tons of maize and 120 metric tons of wheat per day. The company's location is strategic as it is close to most maize and wheat growing areas. This gives Antelope an advantage over its competitors in both hauling of raw materials and also the distribution of finished products. Although, grain suppliers are not limited to those near our operations, as the Food Reserve Agency and other commercial farmers dotted around the country also supply the plant. Mr. Krishnan is the production manager at Antelope. We have basically three raw materials. The main is the maize, which is a staple food of Zambia, followed by the wheat, and last is a cassava. Basically, our process starts from the raw material, which all we procure from the peasant farmers and the commercial traders from here, within Zambia. And all the raw materials comes to the gate. We go and collect the samples from the gate. If then we will uh, check all the parameters for the quality and we are following the ZAP specifications for wheat and ZAMES and ZAMES specifications for maize. And when it passes all the specifications, then the raw material is stored in the silos and the warehouses. Then from the silos and the warehouses, the raw material is being transferred to the mill, whereas in the mill, 
it has to go through the cleaning process because the, the all the peasant farmers doesn't have a cleaning sections, cleaning systems to clean all the impurities there. So all the raw materials goes through the robust cleaning, which will remove all the impurities such as ferrous particles, stones, mud balls, sticks. In milling term, they say cleaning is very important. So they say even if you clean, cleaning is equal to half milling day. So if the cleaning is good, the end product is going to be clean and good day. So, so cleaning is very important in a milling industry. So once it passes through the cleaning machines day, then it goes for milling where the bran content which is the outer layer of the raw material for both maize and wheat, it gets removed there and you get the clear breakfast meal from maize and clear flour which is going to be used for bread and buns and everything there. Because of its strong belief in high grade quality of maize and wheat products, Antelope has invested heavily in state of the art machinery. Every stage of production is well monitored to make sure that quality and healthy products are milled. Elas Chikulila is the lab technician. What I do here in the laboratory, I check on the products, starting from the raw material, the incoming product, uh, that is a maize, wheat, to check on the material we are receiving. Uh, our, the material we are receiving okay or not? This is what I do. They are after, uh, in the laboratory, we, have, uh, we are producing a milli meal as well as a, a flour. So I usually check every hour to check on the product, how is our product is coming, or how is our product is. Is it uh, good or not? Immediately I see that the product are, are not okay. I immediately uh, uh, tell my immediate boss, that is the head mirror, to check on the uh, what I've uh, analyzed in the lab. Customer satisfaction is a priority beyond the production process. With a customer in mind, cooking and baking is done at the plant as a test to the end product. After analyzing uh, through those machines you saw in the, in the laboratory, I take uh, some of the, the flour to take it in the baking room. I bake so that I can eat compare what I analyze to, the, to those machines. Is those machines are working okay or not to go and bake the, 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 the flour. The way it was coming in the, those analyzing machines is the way it's going to be in the, in the bakery there. There'll be no any complaint. If in the bakery, in our laboratory, it's not raising, we dispatch those uh, uh, product, or uh, let me say the flour goes to the bakeries, which is not raising. Even in the bakeries there, they will have the complaint. If the, the flour is raising the bakery, also in the bakeries there, there will be no problem, there will be no any complaint from our customers. See, quality is very important, okay? And uh, quality is constant all the time, okay? The consumer comes back and buy the products there. And quality is the one which, which makes sure that the end consumer doesn't get affected by consuming your product there. So this can be done by only emphasizing the quality parameters in-house and also our products are being tested by ZAPS and we are a Zambian Bureau of Standards certified company for both millimil and all our products are being for bread flour, for brown flour, everything is being tested under the Zambian Bureau of Standards today. So if you see in 2010 we have bought a new state of art technology from Swiss, from Switzerland, which will make ensure that it is run by the PLC, Program Logic Controlled Machines there, where if any one of the machine is fault there, the entire mill goes to stop, okay, it cannot run when even a single machine stops, the whole mill goes to suspend mode, so this is to make sure that the, the quality of the product is uniform throughout the production there not only for one hour or two hours for entire 360 per days 24 hours seven days a week so it will be uniform throughout the year 
to constantly produce quality products and meet the set daily target. A good and well-motivated workforce is needed. Antelope is making a mark in job creation, especially in Luansha, where many young people are unemployed due to reduced mining activities. Antelope was established in 1953, and at that time, they only had three employees. Now today we've got about 400 employees, meaning that Art of Milling has grown. And we try by all means to work with the Zambian government by creating employment. We, 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 we don't encourage uh, casualization. And most of the employees here, they've got uh, contracts and others have been placed on permanent basis. So this is a great contribution that we are making to the uh, economy. Among the over 430 locals employed here, Severiano Soko and Jameson Monga have been working with Antelope for 35 and 59 years respectively. They have seen the company grow its wings. My job is to see that all the machineries are properly maintained uh, to reduce the breakdowns. Irregularly, we have to go around to check how all the machines are run. Uh, I've been working at Antrop Mary uh, 35 years now. Uh, definitely, I'm happy because staying for a, a longer period with a, such a company, you should do, be a happy man. I started working in Antrop Mary in 1959. I can't remember the uh, date exactly, but up to now, uh, I worked in, uh, nine, from 1959 as a machine operator in Antropilin, and from machine operator, okay, I have done all the job in Antrop. I've been a cash collector, I have did it. I'm driving, I have done it. And, uh, up to now, now I'm uh, doing uh, in With this new investment in machinery, proper maintenance and care is needed to ensure longevity. The technical department at Antelope Milling is alive to this fact. This gives us the good and sufficient uh, production levels where we have to make sure that everything is in order, all the departments run in production and the sales are perfectly without any problems. Antelope milling products are certified by the Zambia Bureau of Standards, ZABS, and the Zambian Halai certifiers. The company is the first milling firm in Zambia to meet the ISO 9000 standard as a manufacturer. This means that the customer can trust Antelope products in satisfying them meeting food production regulations and achieving continued improvement and nourishing for all. The milling company has evolved from milling and producing roller meal only in the 1950s to now producing breakfast milling meal, roller milling meal, sifted milling meal, maize grits, bread flour, all-purpose raisin flour, premixed cheese and onion flour, premixed garlic flour, cake flour, brown flour, white flour, chapati flour made on traditional meadow plate and maize bran. All these are packaged to meet a customer's budget. Whatever we are producing is highly high quality product there so that it is good for customers consumption. That's the way we make it. So we are strictly on that. Our side, the best price, we are supposed to give the customer good quality with the best price also. If the product is good quality but the price is too high there, it is going to be a problem there. So we are giving best quality millimil at good price there. 
that is the main thing for us. With innovation and sustainability at play, it is the reason why Antelope Limited has continued to stand the test of time. Uh, so far, we are the biggest milling company in uh, Copper Belt there. We have a variety of products there like uh, maize products and also wheat products you can see here. And also at the moment we are doing cassava also and also recently we introduced chapati flour and uh, cheese onion, uh, self-raising flour, all these types there. So <clears throat> at the moment, uh, looking at the uh, product varieties here, we are the one supplying in Copper we are the biggest company supplying all these products there. And uh, we have also outlets, we have all over Copper Belt, there is uh, 54 outlets are there. And also Lusaka, we have an agent there, he is supplying all the products through uh, his outlet. And uh, main, uh, main supermarkets like uh, supermarket uh, chains like uh, Surprise, We Can Pay, uh, Chopees, all these places we are supplying. So I think uh, we are doing fine in Copper Belt there and people, because of the quality of the products, people are very happy with our product there and uh, we are leading at the moment. Efficient delivery of products boasts customer confidence. Antelope's distribution network covers most parts of the country. With over 58 distribution and retail outlets on the Kuperboard province and other neighboring countries also benefiting. Antelope also supplies its products to different government departments like the Ministry of Defense, Ministry of Home Affairs, Ministry of Health and other players like the World Food Program supplying them with vitamin enriched products. We have to make sure the orders are cleared as to, to satisfy the customer as required. And also the customers are very happy with our services because we are very efficient. When the customer comes, we don't delay. We have to make sure our fast food is provided what it requires with this part. The company's transport fleet currently stands at over 180 in both light and heavy commercial vehicles or runners. A mechanical workshop has also been set up to ensure that all vehicles are properly serviced by highly skilled employees of the company. Well, we have over 80 trucks now, as you can see, and uh, about uh, 60 small vehicles. There's a lot that goes on at the workshop. As you can see, there's a lot of trucks, so we have a lot of jobs here. Uh, just like any other workshop, uh, in the morning, we load our mechanics with the jobs, the defects. That is one, two, we attend to breakdowns, although there are not so many. We have a lot of trucks, but we don't have uh, many breakdowns. Kasumbales, a border post, is one of the busiest depots for antelope milling. Customers from within Zambia and the neighboring DRC find antelope products as the best among the rest. We have a lot of customers. Um, a bit of the, the story, if, if I remember very well, um, when the population was small here in Kasumbalesa, our friends from, our, from the other side were coming to buy from, from us. But now, we have a lot of people now. There's a lot of, you know, the, the population is growing. And you, you can even see a lot of people coming here buying going buying flour and milling milk. Even stock feeds, we have stock feeds in here. Meaning our products are good for, for human consumption. In fact, from the time we started marketing our products, it markets itself. The reason is simple. Because whoever buys our, our product, he will go and tell another friend that he, if you go and buy in antelope, you buy a 25 kg. You are not going to buy a less kg. That's the first point. All right? And then, when you cook Kunshima, 
if you, if you haven't washed your hands properly, it will leave a, a, a mark there. You see, it's pure white. That's why our stocks in here doesn't last. They, they go very fast. And our prices are affordable. Both from flour, milli meal, even the, the, the stock feeds. It's the same. Burat tumuka, burafumia tumbuwe fingi, burafumia bredi ingi, nama banya ingi san. At least tinga wa wonfi obubunga, muka saka ka moktu wa kwata mu profeti ingi. Obubunga obu. Bunga busu masana. Obubunga buku bien sana. Bukari ata unepika, nitubunga tutuloko. Poto poto. Antelope Milling's growth in all areas of its operation can only be attributed to visionary leadership. The company's total investments currently stand at over $25.2 million. Financially, Antelope Milling is very, very sound. I'll talk about the period that I have been here from 2002 to now. We have more than trebled the financial capacity of Antelope Milling. We are able to use our own reserves in order to do factories. Of course, we get bank support, but mostly we depend on our own reserves. So financially, we are very sound. The team in the finance department are all Zika certified accountants, and they do their best. I supervise them myself personally, and I have 46 years of experience in accounting, both in commercial, industrial, you can name it. I have 46 years experience, and I know exactly how to captain the financial aspect of any industry, any given industry. We are selling, money is coming, and we keep our debtors as in control. They are happy, we are happy, and the monies are there. We deal very well with the banks. The banks are so happy with us that they will give us any money that we ask for because they know we have got the capacity to pay. They know we have the assets to give them as collateral. So when we come to a point where we will invite private investors to invest into this company. They'll be doing the right thing to invest in Antrop Milling because this is a company that is safe and sound financially. The market is big out there. There is competition, but I can see that those competing with us are amateurs. We are professionals at it. Even the products that we produce here are the best. So I would like to tell you all that you eat the best and leave the rest. Positive financial and production results allow the firm to pursue the development and growth of antelope milling, thus managing to support both local communities and the economy with production facilities which include three state-of-the-art grain milling plants, three separate production lines, a modernly equipped laboratory, a test bakery, and at least 58 distribution centers across Zambia. Antelope's maize meal plant has, for the last seven years, enjoyed an efficiency rate of over 80%, with 2018 recording the highest annual average rate of 83.5%. This translated in the company meeting over 15 metric tons of maize meal per 24 hours. Between 2017 and 2018, the increase in the total maize consumed by the market measuring over 70,000 metric tons, giving the firm a 30% market share in the Copper Belt province. The wheat meal has continued to enjoy a positive rise in the milling efficiency translating to a production of 5 metric tons of flour per 24 hours.
the assorted flour produced in the past seven years has translated to a 20% market share in the Copper Belt province. Both maize and wheat have for over five years recorded consumption of over 90,000 metric tons. The financial performance of antelope milling is a key issue for the company and stakeholders because it is associated with the firm's long-term sustainability and socio-economic development of the areas it operates in. For a long time now, antelope has continued to be among the top maize milling firms in Zambia in terms of milling capacity, sales and market share. Antelope does not only exist to make profit, but also to better the lives of the people in its areas of operation. As reviewed by many residents of Luansha, Antelope is viewed as a beacon of hope for many lives. Through its corporate social responsibility programs, the company is now among many other projects investing in the construction of an ultra-modern recreation center at the old airstrip in Luansha. This center will house a cinema, different sporting courts such as basketball, netball, volleyball, plus football and running tracks. The facility is envisaged to benefit youths in sport. The motive according to the directors is to contribute drastically to the community. Basically, it's to bring out the youth so that we keep them away from doing immoral things. And in such a way, we feel we'll be developing or growing up better residents for Luansha. There are a lot of things which are to come into this whole project. We, the directors, have also decided to bring up educational uh, time. We are developing a cinema which is going to show educational films. For instance, there will be films, films which will talk about the space, how astronauts get to space. And I can imagine thousands of ch school children will be assembling here to see. And this is the kind of contribution which management would like to offer to the community in Rwanda. It, it has been, it is quite expensive, but and a lot of uh, funds are being used to bring up this project and they are really determined that this complex will really contribute to national development of uh, the country. Antelope Football Club is also one project taking Luansha residents by storm. A team comprising of employees and members of the community plays its football in the Luansha Amateur League. Antelope Football Club topped the log table in the 2018 soccer season. The company is also conscious to issues of the environment 
and good health of humans. Thus, Moringa trees are being planted. Sports is going to be developed in this area, but we are also having an environmental uh, conscious. We have started developing a plantation of a uh, Moringa tree. The, the, this is a herbal uh, tree which eventually we will uh, manage to process and possibly distribute, distribute um, the products to uh, social welfare communities where food is being uh, cooked it adds in, it has a lot of potential in a lot of vitamins. And this also is something which has started, we have planted the Moringa and we are progressively um, taking time. The first batch of 150 trees are already growing and the next uh, batch will be 300 and then we'll go again to 600 who progressively yeah, take it up in that manner. This also is a major cost because we have to um, employ people to uh, look after the place and uh, tender the Moringa trees. So in another way, Antelope is employing uh, Luansha residents not only in the plant where we have a meal, but also outside developing this community infrastructure. Management at Antelope does not stop at that, just like its vision to lead the way while respecting values, traditions, people, and the environment. The community in Luansha continues to enjoy the benefits of the company's presence. Dagama School of the Physically Challenged in Duansha has been receiving assistance from Antelope in form of foodstuffs as well as support for the orphans. Malaika School has also benefited as Antelope supplies building materials, fuel for trucks carrying building materials to the project location at Malaika, and school truck repairs. At Thompson Hospital, a feeding program for patients is underway, thanks to antelope milling. The building at the hospital also got a facelift of paint, and antelope also provides an alternative source of power during times of load shedding. The company also plans to invest further at Thompson Hospital by expanding the ART clinic to accommodate more people. With all these projects, management at Antelope remains hopeful of a bright future, as further shared by the company's senior directors. It is a dedication to our mission statement that has made Antelope the strongest brand in milling industry in Zambia and in neighboring countries. It is due to this that Antelope has made huge strides in developing a highly sophisticated milling complex, making Antelope a leader in milling. In order to add value to some of our products, we have invested in a state-of-the-art brewery. This is one of our projects which is already complete. A stopping plant is in a plan for the near future, which will also add value to our products. The foundations of this company have been put up very well. In the milling business, when you are a miller, when you are milling, there is so many other things that you uh, like, uh, which are very near to what you're milling. Like, for example, you can go into production of baby foods. You can do, uh, go, go into production of ce breakfast cereals. You can go into the production of pasta. You can go to the productions of all types of stock feeds, chicken feeds, you know, animal feeds, pet food, etc., etc. So, and sooner or later, we will be able to produce not only uh, a very good beer, 
out of our products, but also some other uh, products like Maheu and uh, some similar non-alcoholic products. I would say in the milling business, the foundations have been are here, and then the, those that come after us should be able to branch out. And I would say, when I say branch out, I mean the Tetri must have a lot of branches, will have a lot of branches, and the sky's the limit, I would say. There's so many things you can do, it's endless, the things you can do. Therefore, it's a dynamic industry, it produces foodstuffs. And foodstuffs are commodities that people cannot part with. Therefore, I see a very, very bright future, a very, very profitable future, and I think that this industry will grow from strength to strength. The products tell a story of hard work and business excellence. A quality assured product since 1953 leaves a mark once tested.